Hello everyone, Daily Math here with a geometry problem. So we have a square with some segments drawn inside of it and we are given the length of two of them. Now we want to find the area of this square. I suggest you give it a try before watching the solution, as you wish. Let's start off by some rituals and that is naming the vertices A, B, C, D and these two I'm going to call them F and H. So what we want to do is that we want to work with two triangles here. Triangle ABF and the triangle BCH. Now let's see what we know about the angles here. We know that the angle B1 plus the angle A equals 90 because both of them plus the angle F, that's a right angle, are equal to 180. All right? So B1 plus A is 90. So what else do we know? We know that the angle B1 plus the angle B2 is also a right angle and one last thing is the angle C plus the angle B2 is also equal to 90 because the angle H is a right angle and B2 plus C plus H is equal to 180. Now from the first and the second equations we know that the angle A equals the angle B2 and from the second and the third equations we know that the angle B1 equals the angle C because each of them plus the angle B2 equals 90. And also we know the angle F equals the angle H and they are right angles. So we have two triangles with three equal angles. They are similar, right? But we know something else. We know that the side AB equals the side BC. Same size because it's a square. Now two triangles with equal angles and with one equal side. That means two congruent triangles. They're just the same size, the same shape. Now we did all of that to reach this point that we can say BH is the same size as AF and that's five because they are the correspondent sides of two congruent triangles. Now BH is five. We wanna apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle BHC. BC squared equals BH squared plus HC squared. And BC squared is just the area of the square, right? So the area is BH squared, that's 5 squared, plus HC squared, 7 squared, 25, plus 49, and that's equal to 74. That is the final answer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments if you've solved this question in any other way. And take care until the next video. See you soon.